Christian liberal arts colleges in the Northeast. And I've uh, come to Holton several times. As I told some of you, my daughter plays basketball, so I've been here, I think, three or four summers in, at the basketball camps. And today I toured the college, and I was very, very impressed uh, by the facilities. And I met some of the students, and I think I planted some questions uh, for later. And uh, I hope you enjoy the presentation. Now, the presentation is not about me. I do have 20 years experience. You're being kind. I'm a little bit older than that. I do have uh, other experiences, too, as an engineer and, and in finance. Uh, but I do have a long career history at Xerox. And my career history ex uh, went through over 20 years, 10 of which was a uh, vice president at Xerox in Europe and in the United States, managing marketing and strategy and planning. And, uh, but I also have done those functions, including manager of strategic pricing. I was a finance manager in accounting. I was a finance manager in strategy. So my career has been a pattern built on knowing a little bit about something, everything, and a lot about something, okay? And what I know a lot about is strategy and planning, and I know a little bit about all the other disciplines. So it's a pleasure being here today. Your decision to attend Holton certainly exemplifies your commitment to the Christian values and Christian principles. And when you graduate from Holton, which some of you will do this year, and I assume some will do in three or four years, you will go out to the world with those values. And you're probably asking yourself, what do I do with those values? How do I succeed with those values in the business world of today, which seems overrunning with scandal? Now, we've, the American uh, business has cleaned up a lot of that since Enron, and it's been full employment for my wife, who's a Sarbanes consultant. But there is still, whether you're in the sports world today or the business world, you know, whether you're, you hear the headlines on Michael Vick, the world out there is still a dangerous place. And how will you react when you come across those particular situations? What are your ethics? What are your values? I can give you some examples later of how I have reacted. But ha having the Christian background at Holton will definitely serve you well. Now, nobody can tell you what your future is going to be. Okay? That will be made by you, and the impression you make on your company and your fellow uh, peers, employees, will be up to you. And you will have many successes, I'm sure, and you'll have some failures. A career is always potmarked with a few failures here and there, because after all, we are human. Perhaps the main personal characteristics that you need to succeed, and let's see if this works, ah, is courage. So what is courage, and why is courage very important, and why do I say that's the first thing that you must have as you move into the business world? Well, our national poet, has said, one isn't necessarily born with courage, but one is born with potential. Without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue with consistency. We can practice it, but not with consistency. We cannot be kind, true, merciful, generous, or honest. Is the business world looking for courage? You bet they are, and I'll show you some examples later. <clears throat> courage puts the values you're learning at Holton and that you brought to Holton into action. It risks not looking good in front of others. It defies the odds regardless of your personal consequences. And during your 30 or 40 year career, hopefully most of you will have, unless you go to Wall Street and make a million dollars in the first two years, which some of you might, you will be challenged with ethics, with values that don't seem appropriate. If you have the courage, you can succeed. Well, you know, courage does not stand alone. Courage is supported by faith. And it's much easier, if you're a person of faith, to have courage. So when I went through my business world, I always said, you know, I don't have to work here. If I don't like it, I will move. What is the downside? I will miss some money, but that's not the most important thing to miss in your life. The most important thing to miss in your life is something lacking from your character. Okay? 
Faith supports courage. It is the underpinning of courage. It will give you the courage as you move into each consecutive job and company to company and will give you that faith, supporting courage, will give you the ability to face those critical issues. And you will face them every year, perhaps. I know I did every time you had a review of people and you had to decide and argue about who was a better person and whether you were going to cave even if you thought that that person was better, you know, when you're doing uh, performance reviews. Now, if that's your main value that you have to bring in, and there are many, many other values, okay, but the business community today particularly, and I'll give you a quote from our, the CEO of GE, is looking for that courage. You can provide it because of your faith. I have a model for success. I hope you can hear me. I, I tend to walk around a little bit, so... I have a model for success which I call my 4E model for success. What is a 4E model? Well, it is what is expected by business, it's your mindset, and it's a call to action. It's a 4E model. The 4E model, we brainstormed this at senior managers at Xerox, senior executives in our business unit, and came up with this model, very similar to this model anyways. I have crafted it slightly different to, to my value system. Okay? It comes from the GE model. GE model of management has four E's. Now, they slightly had different E's. Okay, but for personal reasons, I modified it to my values. We can talk about that in a question and answer if you wish. Everybody can employ this model. Okay? It is not a model about your, your job. Some of you will be accountants, some of you finance majors, some of you marketing majors, uh, and Dan's teaching a lot of communications majors. I know Dan from Xerox. So. Um, but it is not a model like that. As I said, my daughter is a shooting guard. Okay? She, that's just like, in, you know, one of the jobs on the team. There's forwards, there's centers, there's point guards. She happens to inball the, bo the ball all the time. You know, so everybody has to have their own job. That's not the, what the model talks about. It says each one of those, and I'm very proud because they won a New York State Championship, Sutherland High School, in basketball. But each one of them had to exemplify the four E's in this model in order to win, whether they were the point guard or the shooting guard, as my daughter is. So let me explain my four E models of success. And this is what you will need, or something similar to it, as you leave Holton and go into the workplace. And I have the call to action at the end for you to do something. Number one, energy. Okay, who got up at 6 o'clock today? Anybody? Oh, okay, oh, very good, wow. You guys have a lot of energy. Anybody? I know you're a runner. Uh, who got up at 7? Eight, nine. Okay, so everybody was up, went to class. To, everybody went to class today, right? Okay, you didn't miss anything today, right? Hopefully. Okay, good. I missed a few when I was in school, so <laughs> you know, not to be ashamed if you did. Okay, energy is fueled by the mind, body, and soul. So it's your personal inherent energy. Okay, it's not somebody else's. It's yours. It's the fact that you want to get up and go to class. You want to learn something today. Okay, but in order to have energy, you have to fuel the body, so eat good, okay? And I mean, that's just a necessity. You know, you've got to run or you've got to do some 